Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to design lateral steel members in the RAM frame steel post-processing mode. In this particular series of videos, we are focusing our design on the standard provisions. So for this particular video, we're going to review the effective length factors that are assigned to your model through RAM frame. To start this process, go up to the main menu and select criteria followed by your K factor. Now for this model, we are preparing to design the lateral steel members according to the requirements of the AISC 360-16 specification. According to C3 of this code, the effective length for flexural buckling of all members shall be taken as the unbraced length unless a smaller value is justified by rotational analysis. So considering this information, for this particular set of videos, we're going to set the K factor for the lateral steel members as 1.0. Now you can do this on a global criteria option, or if you selected a different steel design standard, you can also assign K factors to individual steel members using the K factor option from the assign menu. In addition to reviewing the effective length factor, let's also take a look at our axial slenderness limits. So what we're going to do is return to the criteria menu and select the axial slenderness limits option. Now in the RAM frame steel post-processing mode, you have the option to tell the program whether or not you want the KL over R limits for compression or tension members considered in your design. For this particular model, we're going to go ahead and incorporate these requirements and then click OK. Now at this point, we've concluded our process for reviewing the effective length factors that will be used to calculate the effective length and the effective slenderness ratio in the RAM frame steel post-processor. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.